Oi, congratulations. That, I think, was probably your, your most complete performance of the season so far. I thought we were really good Tuesday night, if I'm honest with you. I, I thought we were, you know, against the, you know, a good side in the top of the division. It was, it was always going to be tricky here with obviously Storm, um, Storm Eunice in the ether. But, but credit to him, I, th I thought the pitch, you know, for, you know, this time of the year, I think it's a decent park. It, it, um, it allowed us to get the ball down and play, and you know, with, with the lads were were superb today. I was again, I'm a little bit gutted we haven't maybe put eight, nine on them because that was that was an opportunity to do that. We've we've carved out some fantastic opportunities, um, but again, three points and onto another tough fixture Tuesday night now with uh, late in audience. I thought the first half in particular, your midfield three just they couldn't get close. No, well, you know. I think that was the same with, with the Sutton boys the other day. I think Sutton you know, were, were struggling to get um, control of the game and the ascendancy due to the quality of the lads in the middle of the park for us. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased with that. You know, delight for young Billy. Um, he's, he's got his first goal, and you know you can see just what a talent he is. And, and people forget, you know, we've still got the strength of the, the bench that we've got, and, and arguably our talisman at the Evans not even here today. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's pushing close to being a squad. I think on Tuesday, so. Really good signs. Um, Lofty back on the park today, um, and as I say, really, really pleased with, with the performance. The clean sheet was was vital as well. Um, and you know, as I say, John Nolan, Andy Evans, etc., etc., to come back and be part of the squad. So we've worked hard to get to this point. We have to stay hungry and humble, and, and keep turning up and, and performing like we did uh, today. Was there an aspect of that performance that pleased you most? Because there was a lot to be pleased about. But what was it that you were happiest with? Just the control. I mean, obviously, it's nice to get the goals and get into the positive goal difference because I felt, you know, certainly in, in recent weeks, you know, if I ever had one criticism of the guys, it was you know, we weren't ruthless and clinical enough. Um, but they, 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 they um, took that on today and, and showed a different side, a different gear. You know, I've been saying threes and fours out of ten, something five and six, and maybe lacking that last little bit. And, you know, I, I still think that that's, you know, seven or eight out of ten. Um, you have to take into account quality of opposition, um, but again, you know, for, for me, really good signs. And as I said to you, you know, if you're in a horse race and you can see, you know, 16 games left to go, you want to be making real, real progress when you, the finish line's in sight. And, you know, this is a group that's worked tirelessly pre-season. You don't quite get the rewards of that in football. People always think you get instant rewards in this game. You don't. You get you get paid back for the hard work that you do, and it takes five, six, seven months sometimes for that to bed in and you know, you're seeing how, how strong the group is now, physically strong, technically strong, uh, mentally strong, um, you know, but again, we've got to turn up Tuesday night and, and we'll have a late Nori inside who are on a tricky run of them, their own, trying to uh, steal our momentum, so really pleased, um, but again, 16 more to go. And I thought it was a whole team effort, so it's difficult to pick out individuals, but you mentioned Elliot already, and, and I thought Luca Hall as well, two very young players, just just growing, and, and you can see the quality that they're starting to show, that, that composure that I'm sure you've been after. Yeah, the two you know, youngest members of our group, but again, you wouldn't think that based on the uh, quality of performance. And my belief has always been, if, you, you know, if you're good enough, age is just a, a number, and I think sometimes you know, playing with young minds that you that are more malleable that you can put ideas into and coach and you know for me you know the, that's the beauty of it you know seeing young people flourish seeing them you know really start to uh, emerge as, as senior players you know Hooley's been from Mansfield first day of the season you know he's, he's obviously been in and out and dipped in and out but certainly in this you know since January onwards I think he's he's really taken the position you know and, and made it his own his performance today, even in the midst of, you know, there was a couple of moments where they're testing you, and I thought it was his defending at the back post, a couple of really crucial interventions to make sure that Belly kept his clean sheet. Um, but as I say, you know, we knew the quality we were getting with young uh, Elliot, Billy, they've called him Billy Elliot, Geordie Boy, yeah, Bill of a Ballerina, so it, it, it started to stick now, his nickname, you know, and that, that's a sign of where the group's at with him, you know, I think he's been, you know, a, a, a real, real. Um, bonus you know we, we were trying to do uh, a player that you know we, we thought would improve the quality um, that didn't manage to materialize we ended up getting on and uh, you know and taking uh, Elliot quite late in the window and and if I'm honest he's much better than the player we would have took so sometimes you know I would say this, this, 
the sun shines on the righteous and, and, and today I think you know our lads come of age in a, in a blusty windy conditions and we've seen the sun and the gas heads behind the goal 4-0 um, but again this league's relent, un, unrelenting and, and we're back to the uh, to, to another challenge against uh, Leighton Orient Tuesday night.